Hey guys, it's Jasmine, aka Beaver Wolf, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> So I actually did like a, a new style for my head wrap. I'm kind of confused on how I did it, but maybe I might do a video about how I like wrap my head wraps. But it's currently 7.55. We have to eat breakfast and then come back here to get our bags and stuff. So right now I'm just waiting on the, the crew, waiting on the crew to get ready. So I got my bags packed. I had to buy, bring this because I don't know if they have like, you know, a water fountain at the hotel. And I'm not paying $5 for a water bottle. So I'm gonna bring that. Oh, I'm gonna have to sit on this or something. I know y'all probably like, why is she packing all that stuff? It's an overnight trip. But it may seem like a lot of stuff to you right now, but it really is not that much stuff. That's all I have to say about that. Anyway, and it's never, what do you call it? It's good to be prepared. You don't be, you want to be over prepared than under prepared. Let's, let's check on the other crew members. Done? Okay. What about you, Kathy? Are you done? So it looks like I'm the only one who's finished. Since it's probably gonna be like, I think it's like a two hour ride. I'm gonna bring some snacks. We have some Jolly Ranchers. I'll take three, I don't need to be eating all that candy. Yeah. And then we have some fruit snacks. Uh, I'll just take an orange. We need uh, to update our snack supply. Disappointing. So we're running a little late. So I ran back here. Because we left the luggages at Birch. Oh, let's go. It's heavy. So I ran ahead of them. And then now I am basically grabbing all the all of their stuff. This is all the stuff I have to carry. Never mind, they came back. <laughs> I guess I'm not as fast as I thought I was. We all in the bus and it's raining. Oh, I don't have fast Oh, I can't see it from the side. But can you hear it though? <laughs> Going to the Rocky Stairs. Damn, so out of shape. We ran up these steps. <laughs> Walking down the stairs. How did it go from pouring rain to now sunny and hot? Weather in New Jersey is different. Liberty Bell. I like girls in the background. So we're currently in uh, this food court area in Pennsylvania, I believe. Um, this is where like all of the, the Liberty Bell, that's the only thing I can name <laughs> at this point in time, but yeah. So we're just, we first grab seats because you're walking. It's not as bad as, you know, the, the other tours, but yeah. So we're sitting down to like rest our legs and we're trying to figure out what we want to eat. But one thing about Philly, they have some good food and big portions too. So we're gonna eat here and we're gonna get cheesesteak. Well, me and Esther are. So I guess I'll get a, a regular original Philly cheesesteak, I don't know, with fries. So I got it to go because just in case I don't finish it, I have an, an out, you know. Khadija, she got the shrimp and fries. We offered the shrimp to eat. I literally could not get used to that. Oh. I'm from country. Is that, uh, is that chili cheesecake is actually this? 
I like I like um popcorn shrimp. I just like what's it called? Cocktail sauce. This is the product red, right? Look how thick these fries are. The fries could be warmer. That's all I have to say and the fries could be warmer. This cost me twelve dollars. <laughs> Basically thirteen. Mmm. good. I know how to make a Philly cheesesteak in Philly. I know. If they fucking if they don't, that's sad. But it has mushrooms and no. It has onions and cheese. Three of them graduated from grade. Just got done eating and we're waiting. This is like five minutes early from the meetup time. So we're waiting outside. It's very humid out here. Nikita. We are back on the bus. Hopefully I'll have a I'm sweating so much right now. I need the AC to blow. Ooh, I feel better too. They need to crank it up to high. And we can't go to sleep either. I brought my neck pillow and everything. So we are in Maryland and we are at Fort Henry. Fort Henry. Some of us. All right, guys, can you hear me? Yes. yes. One last question, just to test your guys' knowledge before we go. What shape is the fort? Just shout it out. Shout it out. Is this it? I don't know. That'll be more interesting. Flags everywhere. Wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Washington, we are here, Baltimore, Maryland. Even their puns are stupid. Ho from Mexico. Are you trying to tell Mexicans they're, they're hoes? Somebody's teeth right here. Looks like an old radio. Seeing sketch as hell. Be careful now, Esther. I'm too old I don't know why I'm old. I lied. Go, go, you can do it, you can do it, go, go. Just one step. Hold it and put the other foot in. Oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> you can't. I'm just like, no, everything. You can't. I must not fall. Serious. Okay. See, it was not hard. Just down and under. Down and under. Oh. 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 Can you give it to myself? You can do it. I'm not going far. Oh, hell to the no. Who would ever... Who would ever go on there? It's literally a whole room. Yeah. It's a whole room full of brick. I'll let the bomb take me. It's giving claustrophobic. This looks like a like a kitchen room. It smells musty in here. Oh, the, the Star Spangled Banner. What happened? Is it a jail cell? Yeah, it's hanging on the Wait, come on, lock me. Oh, I 
He came in a boy and Ooh. came out a gray haired man. Who was in here? Henry Hall Brogdon. Oh. I don't know who that is. That's tiny. Oh. That's not that bad. It's not bad. Hmm. I'd be perfectly comfortable in there. These people are crazy. I need electricity, I need Wi Fi, I need a soft pillow and a blanket. I'll go buy one of these just because. So you can burn out, burn your house down? Maybe. Because that's what that's what this will do. That's like a desk. And this is I guess a bed right here. I'm gonna go in here. It looks like a stable. Let me see. Oh, I think this is where they made the bombs. Yeah, it's like gunpowder and stuff. Ooh. I'm gonna accumulate asthma. I mean, isn't the safe one you have the fun ones you said you're gonna have? These are the. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Check the pictures, make sure you like them. The cannons they used you're good. during you're Fort like Henry. Perfect. So we are going to see the view. We are. What's your YouTube channel? Oh, I don't got a title. <laughs> <laughs> well, when she oh, get. Simply Esther. Oh, simply Esther. Oh, I like that name. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> so, me, Khadija, and simply Esther or <laughs> Esther, <laughs> or we are going. To, we are walking up. I guess this kind of hill to see like the view of the harbor. It's very windy and it's very nice because it's hot outside. So it's good to have some type of type of breeze. It's so windy up here. It's so nice. There's a breeze. So we're basically, uh, I guess, touring the whole thing, having some free time, just wandering until uh, five o'clock, which they're gonna do the flag ceremony. Yeah, it's that thing. I don't know what the flag ceremony is, but I think they just put down the flag, maybe put a new one. I don't know. We shall, we shall soon find out. Perfect Henry National Monument and Historic Shrine. My name is Bob, and I have the pleasure of being one of the seasonal rangers here that gets to interpret American's history to find folks like you. Now, on the way in the, uh, the parking lot, you guys might have noticed our official title up on the, the wall there. Did you notice it's so long, we needed like a whole building to put it on there? It's huge. Yeah. And it's actually really unique. Did any word in our title strike anybody here as odd or peculiar? We're Fort McHenry National Monument and Historic Shrine. Right. The historic shrine, right? That seems a little peculiar. Um, what What is a shrine? When we use that word, what are we trying to refer to? Does anybody know? This. Place of reference, right? Uh -huh. So it's a it's kind of like a, a place that's been deemed sacred for something or someone or some item that's significant to the person that's naming it then, right? So we here have been kind of blessed with the title of historic shrine. All right, let me ask you another question. There are over 420 National Park units in the National Park Service. You are at one of them. How many of them have been given the designation as historic shrine? Zero. One. One. Oh, one. You, uh, yes, yes. That means they must be special or something, right? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so here comes a follow-up question. Why are we the only one? What happened here that we consider so sacred to the country that it it needed that special moniker put on. They hold the fort. The British that had the strongest navy in the world. All right, so we survived this strong bombardment. 25 hours it's going to last. And how do we know at the end that we're still here? The flag. The flag, right? That, right up there. Okay, so everybody take a look up at the flag. How about that sign? The flags are symbols. Don't look too long if the sun's up there blinding you. Flags are symbols, right? And I can tell you from working here that that symbol means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Okay? But it always provokes or invokes some kind of response. So just by shouting out at me here, you can yell loud, you're not gonna knock me over. What do you think? What comes to mind when you see the American flag? What are some words that you would use? Okay. So you think of the Star Spangled Banner, you think of the national anthem, right? Awesome. What else? 
the slavery? George that? Washington. Independence. Independence. George Washington. How? Lies. What's that? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Freedom. 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 Bravery. Right? Liberty. Security. Patriotism. So I'm hearing everybody kind of coming at me with their own idea of what that flag means up there, right? Symbols are important to our country. Well, the reason why we're here is because a man named Francis Scott Key had the same response that he did when he saw a much bigger flag look just like that. So, so Francis Scott Key was a lawyer from down in Washington, D.C. And during the bombardment, he's about four miles to our south, right over that rampart, right over that wall, down by the Key Bridge. Funny how they named that, right? And he is, he is being detained by the British until the battle is over. And he, like everybody in the Baltimore area, has a big question in mind. He's concerned about Fort McHenry. He is going to be out there as the British bombard this place for 25 straight hours. In those 25 hours, they're going to fire between 15 and 1800 exploding bombs. Those are the bombs bursting in air. And they're going to be firing rockets, rockets red glare, at this site trying to get the defenders of Fort McHenry to leave. Right? They're not trying to blow up the fort, they're trying to get the people out of here. And I tell you what, I gotta commend the guys that were in here, because if you fired 15 to 1800 bombs and rockets at me, I'd, I don't know if I'd stick around. Mm -hmm. But over a thousand of them do. None of them run. And the next morning, at about 7 o'clock, that deafening 25-hour bombardment suddenly stops. And there's dead silence. Can you imagine how that must have sounded? Right, 25 hours, if you do some quick math, 15 to 1800 bombs at 25 hours is an explosion every 40 seconds. And now all of a sudden it's complete silence. And everybody wants to know one thing. What's the outcome? What happened? Francis Scott Key is out there on a boat looking through a spyglass, a little telescope back here at the fort. And he knows that there's one way that he can tell whether or not the garrison, the troops here, stayed. What is it? What's he looking for? The flag. the flag, right? But there's a problem. Throughout the entire bombardment, there was a horrific downpour. And unlike today, where our flag up there is made out of polyester, their flag was made out of wool. Does anybody know what happens to wool when it gets wet? It gets Moldy. Heavy. It gets heavy, right? Mm -hmm. So oh. Francis Scott Key is about four miles away. He's looking at a flagpole. This is a replica of it standing exactly where the flag was. And he's wondering. Whose flag is it? I can't tell. It's not flapping in the breeze like it is today. It's probably laying limp against the pole wrapped around it. And if you think about the first verse of the Star Spangled Banner, that's the one that you hear played before sporting events and important occasions. Really, all Francis Scott Key is doing is asking the same question twice. That's right, our national anthem, that, the, the first verse, is two questions. If you think about it, oh say can you see by the dawn's early light. What's he asking? Can you, see, can you see the flag? Can you see the flag? There's another American standing next to him. He's oh, like, hey, can you see that. the flag? Because I can't. He's then going to go on and, and poetically, flowerly describe the flag, right? Whose broad stripes and bright stars were gallantly gleaming, right? He tells us that through the rocket's red glare and the bombs bursting in air throughout the night, he could pull out that glass and see that our flag was still, still there. there. But now it's the morning. He can't see it anymore. Because there's clouds, there's smoke still hovering over the battle. And he asks again, oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave? He's not going to get an answer until about 9 o'clock that morning. So two painstaking hours are going to go by. And then the garrison commander, Major George Armistead, is going to bring the troops out. And just like they do every morning at 9 o'clock, he is going to change out the flags, like we're gonna do here in one second. He's gonna bring out the gigantic 30 by 42 feet garrison flag. Mm. To give you some perspective, because I'm not gonna, we can't bring it out tonight. That flag would fit in the blue field of this flag. That's how massive this thing is. If you wanna know what it looks like on the way back down to the visitor center, if you take a look at the wayside, you can actually see the different size flags that we flow. It's the one on the far right, okay? When it gets up there, it is not wet. It's dry, it catches the breeze, it opens up, and in the second verse of the uh, Star Spangled Banner that nobody ever pays any attention to, he gets his answer, and he exclaims, 
Tis the Star Spangled Banner, long may it wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Now, it's right about the birth, time. Uh, the rebirth of the We're going to need some volunteers. We need, um, uh, how many would you like? Just here you go. One or two, you, you already have one there. If somebody else wants to help Heidi, we could use a larger group out here. Three minutes, no move. Okay? We all know about flag etiquette. And we all know that one of the big rules about the flag is we should never let it, what? Touch the ground. Touch the ground. Now, if as we are pulling this flag down, it happens to graze the ground, it is okay. Right? It's the intent behind why it's on the ground that deals with flag etiquette. We're going to try our best. To not let it touch the ground, but we're also not going to run each over or run each other over trying to catch it, right? Because it's going to be flapping around as we bring it down. This sort of move with it. We're going to try to control it to get it to a safe spot, and everybody work together as a team. Remember, that was a community symbol to Francis Scott Key. Work together as a team, get a hold of it, and then we're going to bring it over here in this middle of the parade ground. We're going to actually fold it up. Guys, so if you want to help catch the flag, come on out here with us. Remember, we're not going to run each other over. Just put the frag down. Uh, one of America's most popular tunes. Anybody know what it would have been at that time? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle Day. Yankee All right. Day. So, is everybody ready? Okay. We're going we're gonna to bring this flag down. The Yankee Doodle. Down. down that one goes. Up that one goes. Oh, baby. Let it hit the ground. It's bigger than I thought it would. You guys just hold it right there for a second. <laughs> okay. As a team, we're going to move this flag over onto the grass. We're going to try to get it centered. So remember, you're on camera. They're watching you. Okay? So we're just going to kind of swing it over this one. The pressure sign. Okay? All right. Here's what I want you to do. We're going to stop right here. We're going to spin in a circle so that the new field is right here. So you guys just go ahead. Keep on going. You're doing beautifully. Look at that teamwork. Stop right there, perfect. Okay, so does anybody here know how to fold up? Corner to corner. We might have to get creative with this one because it's pretty big. Um, but the first thing that we're going to do, working together as a team, we're going to have this side hold tight, and we're going to have this side bring the flag over, and we're going to lay it on itself. So go ahead and walk on over. Look at right here. Lift it up, lift it up. Yep, that. Yeah. Okay, now grab it at the top. We're going to lay it down with the blue field to the ground. Not on the ground. Yeah, not on the ground. Just turn it this way. That way. Good. We're going to do that exact same thing. You can put your hand right there and just tack it forward. Okay. Do the exact same thing again. Okay. All right. We're going to lay it down again. Now, I want you guys to pull it pretty tight because it's way easier when it's tight. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do the famous triangle fold that you probably have all seen, okay? Yes. So down here on this end, you all, your job is to just hold tight, okay? Don't pull it out of our hands, but hold tight. Okay. I'm going to get it started and then if we want to volunteer to actually go ahead and fold, we can. So we're going to take this corner, you guys can let go. And go ahead, you can keep holding there. Just like that. Now, we're just going to let it fold on itself. Does anybody want to fold it? Does anybody want the honor of folding it? Mm -hmm. All right, come on in here. You're gonna work it all the way down to the end. Everybody, your job is to, to keep it nice and tight for him until it gets all the way down. So you're gonna fold it this way on itself. It it's, is. Oh, wait, wait, that's good. I guess that's good. Is. Yeah. I mean, I'm a history guy, guy in math. <laughs> <laughs> so and then, and then this one you yeah. fold over like that. Oh, is the corner there? So go ahead. Yep, and you can just fold it. Wow, what an honor. And then, see the corner under, and then you fold this into here, this part. I'm showing that I'm not white oh, material, guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Switch with me. All right. I got it. And then we we'll just tuck that in a little bit there. Yeah. So, this. So, this. Christina, well, Jesus. Yeah. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry.
Perfect. Excellent. So there you go. Working together as a team. You guys Ooh. got the American flag. Yay. All right, guys. All right. Um, just a little bit out next. Now we are headed back to our bus where there's AC air conditioning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> Why not? Oh my god. What? <laughs> but this is how I look in the room. Like, <laughs> I got two I'm shades darker crazy. myself. So we are in the Inner Harbor. I've actually been here before. I don't remember which restaurant I've been to, but it has some good food. I think I came here after we went to the aquarium that's around here. I, I don't know. I have to ask my sister. So yeah, I was right. I went to the aquarium here and I went to the I don't know why that's there because nobody gonna dip in that dirty water. But look at the view. Look at the clouds. Yeah. Oh my god, bunch of people living out up there. Kind of their boundary, right? From the that's water to about there? six blocks north. They'll be able to tell when it's the boundary. Now we're kind of stumbling in a little town area where there's like lots of stores. We got 7 Eleven over there. <laughs> Looks like very good places to eat. I don't know about those. I'd be scared when those things fly over me because I'm thinking they're going to poop on me. Now it's starting to rain. I needed something to cool me down. I don't care. So I got a cinnamon, cinnamon pretzel and it's like basically fresh because they ran out. Ooh. Don't worry guys, I have packed hand sanitizer this time. As you can see right there. So I'm not eating with dirty hands. We're in the Goodwill store. Oh, you don't have an umbrella? No. That's $5 right there. This? Yeah. Never that one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's quite warm in here. Very refreshing. I mean, it's quite cool in here. Very f refreshing. I want to look at the bags. I feel like you could always find a good bag in the in the thrift store. Maybe not. Mm. Some of these bags are atrocious, honestly. This is what the bag section is looking like. Ooh, maybe this one. I don't know. I just like, you know, people's bags be dirty. So I don't really wanna take all that time cleaning it, even though it might be looking nice. I'd rather buy a brand new one. We found some records. I wish I had like a record player, cause I bet in time it's gonna be ancient, but it'd be worth a lot of money. Y'all those who's watching her channel, if you ever wanna give me a gift, mm. The vinyls and the record. They even got me a gift yet. Huh? They haven't even got me a gift. <laughs> I could be the first. Mm. But sorry, I was chewing while I was speaking to y'all. I feel like that pretzel was enough. I'm, I want some juice right now. I might go back and give me a lemonade. I don't know. But it's $5. No, Jasmine, stick to water. Water is good for you. Stick to water, Jasmine. They also have snacks and what? They have like snacks and stuff too. Looks like they have sauces over there. Is this an Old Bay store? Because why they got all the merch? Look at all these games. So we found like games and stuff. They have like a whole wall of games. And then we found this over here too. 
Warning, warning. If you're. Mm -hmm. I, can do, I, I just. Take a random one. Ready? You're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. She found a, a pickup line book. I will buy this for real. Okay. Oh. Ready? What kind of bees make milk, not honey? Honey. Bees. No. Wait, what kind of bees make milk? What kind of bees make milk, not honey? You ready? I'm gonna give up. I give up. Boo bees? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they went to some kind of dessert place. Ooh, it was like a Rice Krispie treat. Mm. And she got uh, what's it called? Walnut and caramel apple. Well, apple. Mm -hmm. walnuts and chocolate. Mm. So we are currently at the hotel. <clears throat> like getting off now. I'm so tired. I was fighting to not go to sleep for the life of me. <laughs> they call everybody's room key. Call everybody to get their room key except us. Look, the whole entire bus is empty, and we yes. the only one we were left for the scraps. Yes, at least we'll be together. <laughs> David, Christopher, and Ruben is two eighteen. This is what the hair the hotel looks like. Wait, let me take a photo. It looks cool. I'm gonna trip over your suitcase. <laughs> so you guys want to take? We can have a party. Yo, it's weird. It's like oh, here's your keys, this looks like a motel. That's weird. Look, you. are these double sided windows? Yeah, no. We don't have to go outside. Yeah, check. It's it's giving motel vibes, but a hotel. So motel and a hotel. Walk her out when she has yeah. the keys in her hand. She's not coming back. You said you're gonna leave her out there. Oh. Are you guys in the room? So we have a whole sink. Are you okay now? You Ooh, we can have coffee. Me and, her are short, yeah, I was like and we have a microwave and a fridge. And then we got one of these vanity mirrors. Oh, this bathroom doesn't really just gonna look too clean. Good thing I brought oh, my uh, my uh, yeah, bathing shoes, my showering shoes. Yeah, yeah. I need to change shower. Ooh. Like, ooh, I'm so sticky from sweating all day. So we are like at their like snack. I don't know what they call it. Their like snack section of the host the hotel. What are they? Oh, the shop. The hotel shop. I want, I actually want some juice. I think I want Sprite. Oh, what way does, oh. Or ginger ale. Yeah. Ginger ale is the way to go. I wonder if they take apple pie though. We'll see. Okay, she tried the coffee. Put a little bit said, more sugar in it. The coffee tastes kind of strong. Mm. I think it's like a good six and a half, seven. Mm. I think this is like equivalent to sweet and low. Zero so sugar. Sweet. Equal. Equal. I don't know how, people, how people can eat. Or, yeah, eat equal sugar. I kind of like it. We found, oh, there's food. But we also found a pool. I think it's closed right now. Open it. Open it, open it. Break this <laughs> or you do one leg, you know, like this. 
Yeah, I think so. Keeping that bag straight. Yeah. I forget what it's called. But yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to do pull ups. Kind of pull up. That's her doing pull ups. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we can't reach. <laughs> I've improved. Yo, the first time I saw these guys, I was so scared. <clears throat> this is the second time I took this elevator. She like, I'm glad we're on the second floor because if we were on the sixth, I would have been whew, screaming. So I'm gonna have my setup here, my toothbrush, my face products. I'm glad I brought this because now I have water. And I'm gonna go take a shower now. These are how my locks are coming in. I need a re a retwist pronto. So I showered and put my pajamas on now. I need my leftovers. So I'm gonna like uh, complete like my slides for, complete my si slides for tomorrow's um, tour. And he was like, you better know your stuff because you're gonna give the tour. Cause, you, Cause people be like saying like one fact. I don't be doing that, but Yesterday or today's trip, I really didn't study as much as I should have, but tomorrow I will. So, tomorrow is gonna be the DC trip. So, I need some coffee to survive the night while I study for this crap. Yeah, so, I gotta study for, for the tour. The like, there's none in there, and I need coffee. Coffee to sell. <laughs> so now we try to make our own coffee but we didn't have enough so i had to steal some from the neighbor i'm gonna do regular roast so i have lots of coffee you know do i have to put water in this <sighs> so much work okay good thing i have like my curry? No, that's my curry. What's it called? Whatever, my jug. I love stone stuff. Okay. Plug that in. Right there. Let me open up the stuff. It's brewing. It's done. We stole a whole bunch of sugar and uh, cream from downstairs. That's their fault for not having the coffee made, but anyway. Really, I don't know. I'll, I'll do the French one. Right this one is hazelnut. I love hazelnut. <clears throat> Hopefully it tastes good. That's good. I might put a little bit more sugar in it though. So guys, um, I was just like trying to do my slides and whatnot. I fell asleep. So that's why I'm like, that's why I look like I just woke up. Which I probably, I wish I did. I think I need to like, take a 30 minute nap, 45 minute nap. Something so I can get these slides done. So that's what I'm gonna do. And study. But anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow. So if you wanna see more videos, make sure you subscribe, comment, like the video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.